It's movie review time. Let's talk about Antebellum. Hey there, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and I do enjoy going to the movies, even though we haven't been to an actual theater in a while um, because of, you know, craziness and lies. But we do get to the drive-in now and again, and uh, we did see uh, The New Mutants, which was kind of a copy of... Um, an M. Night Shyamalan movie, and kind of average. There is a review for that on my channel, so if you want to look about my thoughts on that, go ahead down there. But in that light, you know, I thought, hmm, there's this movie, it's coming out, it's called Antebellum. It seems like it's kind of that, uh, in that genre. So if I click over here to IMDb, it says it's a drama horror mystery. So I'm like, okay, well, that's that seems like right up you know, her alley, you know, so let's watch this. So I'm going to click on the uh, spoiler zone flag right now because I'm just going to be talking about the film freely and openly. So if you don't want to know anything about any details of the film, feel free to tune out. Otherwise, we're just going to head into it. Okay. So the movie starts having you think you're in the 1800s and slavery is in full swing and people are being brutalized and that's you know the, this was why you know why we had the civil war because the united states knew that slavery you know was wrong and so basically did what it did what it took you know the the better half of the united states did what it took to to clear that out to make sure that wasn't happening anymore and so this leads you to believe that you're back in the 1800s. Then we switch to the present and it's the lady, what's her, I forget her character's name. Uh, 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 Veronica. She is a very successful speaker. The things that she speaks about are completely 100% social justice things. And that's, that's what she's making her money on is, you know, the social justice narrative from beginning to end, and you were hit with that really hard from the start of when they move to the present day. So if you can kind of get past that, which they'll turn it and slap you in the face with it at every moment that they can, um, you're, you, you get shifted back and forth, right, between what you think is the past and what is the present. So things keep bad, keep happening in the past and the present things seem okay. And then the, the ladies all go out, her and her friends all go out for dinner and then she's heading home alone. She grabs, you know, Uber Lyft or some kind of ride share. Or, and once she gets in, she's attacked and you recognize the people in uh, the driver and the person in the back that it's the people from this uh, plantation area that everybody's been, you know, captured on. So now you're figuring, okay, this is actually all happening in the present. They're not going back to the past. They're just capturing people and taking them to this plantation area so that they can play, you know, oppressive and make them slaves and do things. And because the area where they were having them, you know, do the cotton picking part of the whole thing was very small. So it wasn't like a regular field. So it's like, okay, why is that so small? And it's because it's not really in the past. It's in the present. And they have this little area that's hidden off from everything else that nobody can see that they're doing, you know, they're, there's an area called Antebellum where it's an actual place where they reenact civil war battles. So behind that, you know, further way behind that, there are actually people still thinking they're living you know, wanting to live in that Civil War time and have people that are there as slaves. And then there are people that, you know, run the area. Um, and this is actually in supposedly in the present instead of being in the past, like you're being kind of led to believe. And that's the whole big twist in the film is that this thing that you think is in the past, the beginning of the movie is really not. It's actually the present. And there's people that have, you know, captured people off the street, put them into slavery who don't, you know, who can't basically escape from this area because they don't know where they are. 
and they treat them like slaves. They make them pick, pick cotton while they, you know, if they speak, then they beat them and, and, and stuff like that. So, and she, this Veronica at the end, finally gets the one uh, general person that's there, gets his cell phone and, you know, gets a call to her husband and uh, is able to send him her location and then, you know, gets out and does, kills three of them and then is able to escape and then you know the movie is is over so that's kind of all it is um it doesn't get very good scores here it's five five out of ten here it's 27 even the reviewers don't like it which is odd because of the social justice messaging in it yeah i would think that they would be oh this is amazing but it really really falls flat through the whole thing uh, metacritic has it you know pretty middle middle of the road so if you want to watch it go ahead and watch it um, don't be surprised at all the messaging that you're slapped with continually through the film but it's one to forget it's one to skip i think so there you go all right thanks for watching this and if you got any comments if you saw it let's discuss it see if you thought everything that i thought about the film um some of the messaging if it would have been toned down and taken out a little bit maybe had her have a different job other than pushing the sjw message as her regular job then maybe this would have been a little bit better of a twist and everything else but if you're expecting M. Night kind of twist thing in it, you're probably not going to get that from it. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.